What's up everybody, it's Matt from Peter Glenn and in this video we're gonna show you how to fit your snowboard boots properly. Let's check this out. All right, snowboard boots. This is your number one most important piece of equipment. If your feet aren't comfortable, it does not matter what board or what bindings you have, you don't wanna be riding. So I always tell people right off the bat, when you're spending money on your snowboard setup, if you've got X amount of dollars to spend, spend the majority percentage wise on your boots. When you do buy a more expensive boot, nine times out of 10, it's gonna fit better, it's gonna feel better, and it's also gonna last you longer. But that being said, no matter what boot you have, no matter how much money you spend on it, if it doesn't fit right, it's not gonna be comfortable, and you're not gonna have a good day of riding. So right off the bat, great thing to note, most companies nowadays, boots are pretty true to size. If you're a size 10 and a half, in your shoe, you're probably gonna be a size 10 and a half in your boot. Now, a lot of people will get a boot and they'll try it on and they'll go, oh my God, my toes are touching in the front, this boot doesn't fit me. With your snowboard boot, we basically wanna have a boot that obviously fits nice and snug all the way around your foot. When boots get bigger, they don't just grow lengthwise. Everything in the boot gets bigger. So if you're a 10 and a half and you jump into a size 11 boot, yeah, it's a little bit longer, but also everything just got big here from heel to ankle as well. And this is super, super important. You need to have your heel held down inside the boot, no matter what. If your heel is lifting up inside your boot, a little bit can be acceptable. Usually when you ratchet your straps down, that's gonna hold you in the rest of the way. But ultimately, when you try a boot on, you don't want any heel lift at all. If you kind of think about it, if you put your foot into a flip-flop, you can use the muscles in your toes, your arch, and in your calf, and you can literally take that and kind of slap it against the heel of your foot. Also, if you have a shoe on, and your foot's not all the way in the shoe, you can use those exact same muscles and you can kind of pop the shoe on without actually having to touch it. That's something that takes split second and the shoe weighs nothing and there's no forces trying to pull that shoe off of your foot. When you're snowboarding, if your heel is lifting up inside of your boot and you're in a toe side carve, the thing is, is you've got a board, a boot, and a binding. Then also on your toe side edge, now you've got this leverage trying to pull the board and the gravity is trying to pull everything back to the snow. So it's literally trying to pull your foot out of the boot. Now, you're utilizing those muscles in your toes, in your arches, and in your calves way too much and you're actually gonna get pain, you're gonna get cramps. I always have people come into the stores and they're just like, hey, I just need to get a new pair of boots. I'm always getting cramps in my calves, my toes hurt. And right off the bat, I already know what their problem is, is their boots don't fit. Whether they have, again, just a boot that's the wrong size or it's a boot that's just broken down because it's 10 plus years old, I know that their boot doesn't fit right. You're constantly flexing those muscles. You're constantly trying to keep your foot down inside the boot. And it's something you don't want. Me personally, every year I have a new set of boots. I put them on, I break them in after the first couple days and I'm ready to go. And at the end of the day, yeah, it feels good to get my snowboard boots off, but I never am like, oh my God, get these off of my foot. And if that's something that you've ever said, if you don't have something, you know, like narrow ankles or something like that that's just a, you know an odd shape of your foot, which is fine, then your boots probably don't fit you properly. So going back to how your feet should touch the front of the boot. This is the number one thing to tell you if a boot fits right. You pop your foot in, you lace the boot up nice and snug, especially concentrating on the ankle, making sure that your foot is being pushed back into the heel pocket. You wanna be able to feel the front of the boot. Even pushing on it slightly, that's fine. The main thing we don't want is we don't want your toes crammed. Now, the reason we want this a brand new boot, fresh out of the box, that's the tightest the boot is ever gonna fit. It's only gonna break in from there. Most boots have a heat moldable liner. Once you heat it up and you mold it to your foot, that's gonna give you a little extra room. But most importantly, after you use the boot about, I'd say five to seven times, the shell of the boot is gonna break in with the liner a little bit, and it actually is gonna stretch and you're gonna gain a little bit more of that room. Another thing too is a lot of people try in a boot and they're told to be pushing against the front and they're not sure, maybe not crammed, but they are pushing. But now what you need to do is actually 
bend your knees. When you're snowboarding, you need to have your knees in a bent position. If you look at these boots, they actually have forward lean built into the boot. It's basically something where if you're standing up straight while you're snowboarding, you're gonna be having problems. You need to have your knees bent, even if it's just slightly. Now, the reason they build the boots like this is they don't wanna do it straight if you're gonna be standing like this all the time and basically make it so you're actually technically fighting the boot into its natural position. So this basically gives you a natural position to stand while you're snowboarding and it reduces fatigue. It's something that all snowboard boots have. But when you try it on for the first time, whether you're in the store or you're at home and you stand up straight, that is actually going to put pressure on the back of the boot, which is actually gonna shove your toes forward. So right again, right off the bat, try on the boots. If your foot is touching and it's, your toes are pushing a little bit, not bent, but pushing, bend your knees, that'll actually give you the true fit of the boot. So right from there, if you've got some room to wiggle your toes, that's fine. If your boot feels really, really tight on the side, maybe you need a wide boot. But if it's just snug, but not uncomfortably snug, that's fine. Again, this boot's not gonna get any smaller, it's only gonna get bigger. If it's uncomfortably snug, yeah, you might want a different size or you might want a wider boot. But again, snug is not a bad thing. That's the number one most important thing. I can't reiterate it and I can't say it enough. The brand new boot, day one, that's the tightest it's ever gonna fit. It's only gonna break in from there. So the next thing again you wanna test is you wanna make sure that your heel is being held down in the boot. Now there's a lot of different lacing systems out there and you wanna find one that actually is really, really locking your foot in. Me, I prefer standard laces. Standard laces are the only boots that actually have a center lacing zone that's not attached to the lower and the upper, and you can crank that down independently. This basically gives you the option to actually leave the bottom loose and leave the top loose and really, really tighten this down, or you can do tight, tight, loose, tight, tight, tight. You can basically customize that boot and get that ankle locked in and really, really get the rest of the boot to fit exactly the way you want it to feel. But no matter what the boot, no matter what the lacing system, you wanna make sure that it fits right and it's holding your heel down in the boot. Another thing that's a great, great tip is when you do try on a brand new pair of boots, don't use a really, really thick sock. Just use your standard socks that you wear every single day. Again, this boot has not broken in at all. So how it fits right now with a standard sock, that's actually how it's gonna fit after it's broken in with a little bit thicker sock on. So hopefully that information helps out a lot. Again, your boot is super, super important. No matter what the company, no matter what the color, no matter what the lacing system, you need to have a boot that fits you properly. And if you don't have the right size or the right style of boot that's actually gonna fit your foot, then you're not gonna have a good day of riding and your board and your bindings are gonna sit on the rack and you're gonna be spending money on a lift ticket to sit inside and take a break because your feet hurt. So make sure that your boot does fit right. Again, we want toes touching in the front, not crammed. Pushing is okay. And we wanna make sure that your ankle is held down inside the boot. Those are the most important things when fitting a boot. But if you do have any questions beyond any of the stuff that we talked about in the video, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We wanna make sure we can get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we wanna make sure that it's actually gonna fit you and it's actually gonna fit your riding style as well. Also make sure to like, subscribe, and definitely get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. Head on over to peterglenn.com, grab yourself a new set of boots, make sure they're the right size, and get out and ride, because any day of riding is a good day of riding. <laughs>